Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Ecotech battery backup with the Vectra return pump. The battery backup was originally designed for use with the Vortec propeller pump and has two ports and comes with two connection cables for the Vortec. In order to use it with the Vectra, you will need to acquire a Vectra battery backup booster cable. This cable ensures that your Vectra is able to draw enough power from the battery backup to operate correctly. Installing the battery backup booster cable is easy enough. The first thing, as always, make sure you disconnect any of your connected equipment. This is particularly true if it is currently installed or connected inside your aquarium. You don't have to do this step. However, the battery backup is conveniently drilled with six holes. It is on the heavy side, so make sure if you do attach it to your aquarium stand or a controller board that it is mounted securely. With the battery backup installed where you want it, the next thing to do is connect the battery backup to your Vectra controller. To do this, you use the battery backup booster cable. First, plug it into the battery backup and then plug it into the controller. Make sure that the LED end of the booster cable is the end which is closest to your Vectra controller. With the battery backup connected, now you can plug it back into the wall and also reconnect your Vectra controller. In order for your Vectra to operate in battery backup mode, it must first be calibrated. If you haven't already done this, you can do it either using the buttons on the controller, and the instructions are included with the battery backup booster cable, or you can do it through the Mobius app. For instructions on how to do this, use the links in the description below. With the Vectra calibrated and the battery backup functioning, now is a good time to test your battery backup. The battery backup is a lead acid battery and typically has a life between three and five years. In between that time, you're going to want to test it periodically to make sure that it's in tip top shape in the event that you actually need it in a power outage. To do this, simply disconnect your Vectra controller from power. At this point, if the battery backup and the controller are functioning correctly, the controller should flash green. It will go into the pre-programmed battery backup mode and it will indicate the level of charge on the battery using the speed indicator LEDs on the controller. The more of the LEDs lit up from left to right, the more charge in the battery. Anything less is an indication of percentage of battery that's already been consumed or that is not charged. Once you're done testing your battery backup, then you can go ahead and reconnect your controller to power. To adjust the settings of your Vectra when it is in battery backup mode, you can do that using your controller. Again, the instructions are included with the battery backup booster cable, or you can do it through the Mobius app. What follows are the instructions of how to set your Vectra battery backup operational mode using the Mobius app. That's it. And if you have any other questions, feel free to check out our support tab or contact our customer service. If you like this video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for more maintenance, education, and product videos from Ecotech Marine.